everyone, it's Zizu. I'm your CEO, Yoga Bunjan, and Jujimnida. And today I wanted to do something a little bit different. We're going to play a Korean inspired game called Suhoshin. If you're a new subscriber, then you probably don't know that I did a major in game development. And right now I'm working at a indie game publishing studio so i just really love games i don't think there's a lot of games about korean culture or inspired about korea so i was so excited when i saw this demo uh on the steam next fest and we will be playing this demo i don't know how long it's going to take but we're just going to see it's a game that's inspired on the korean joseon dynasties so i'm really excited about this game to learn more about korean history i don't know how accurate this game is so um i guess we'll have to find out if you notice anything that's not accurate then put them in the comments down below or if there's something accurate then you can put it in the comments down below as well i would love to know it this is a visual novel game and for me i really like visual novels to be accurate if it's inspired on like something like history or something so Shin, here we go Let's play new game. Wait, how do you do? Oh, okay. The demo is about one hour long, so I've added out certain parts to not make this video too long. If you wish to play the demo yourself, head over to the link in the description. Joshin. I guess that was the intro. So maybe actually now we get to do more stuff. Maybe. After riding for a few hours, I was able to make out Yangdong in the distance. Cute! I had been away for three whole years, but in just a few minutes I will be back at the place I called home. Since this was such a quiet town, I figured that most of my job would be centered around helping the community. Okay. I should fear west, skirting the village, so that I can stop by my house and drop off my things. After that, I'll be free to catch up with my friends. Okay, let's do it. Yuri's house. Ooh, I love this furniture. Oh, and I love this music. Can you hear it? Oh, I love it. I wonder how he has a house like this if he came from an orphanage. I, where did he get the money to? Or is he living with other people here and he just has a room? I don't know. My house was clean and smelled as fresh as the day I left it. Did someone clean it then? Not a speck of dust to be found. Ah, oh, so I guess his friend took care of the place. That's nice. Sua. Neighbor and childhood friend. Best friend. Oh, they're best friends. It's so cute. It's really nice to have a friend like that. To Mr. Kim. He's the highest ranking Yangban village. And it's all thanks to him that my dreams became a reality. Oh, I'm sure Yunbok will be delighted to know that I'm back too. He was, always so, uh, he was always so friendly to me, pushing me towards my dream of becoming a soldier like him. Come to think of it, it might not be a bad idea to invite Sua and Yunbok for a drink at the Jumak tonight. Okay. Who should I visit? Sua, Yunbok or Mr. Kim? Who should we visit first? I am really curious about Sua, so let's go to Sua. Oh, uh, she's shocked. You're back? I am good to see you, Sua. I just arrived a little while ago. What a surprise, I'm so glad to see you. As am I. How are you? You must be tired. Have you had lunch yet? I have not. Lunch is almost ready. Have a seat, we can eat together. Oh. I couldn't possibly say no to a home cooked meal. It's been a few days since I had a warm meal. Nothing would make me happier. Well, I can agree. <laughs> Plus, I brought you a special something from the capital. After everything Sua and I had been through, I knew I couldn't return empty handed. I took a package out from my bag and handed it to her. 
Oh, you shouldn't have. What's inside? Open it and see. It was a small... Jumoni? Was it a Jumoni? A Jumoni is a small pouch people use to carry things. Especially useful since there was no pockets in traditional handbooks. Oh, that's a nice gift. Ah... That's pretty, that's really pretty. I knew that she liked to treat herself every once in a while and this kind of fashion accessory seemed perfect for her. She cradled the pouch in her hands beside herself with the life. Whoa, I love it, I love it so much, you must have paid a fortune. Do you really like it? I absolutely adore it. It's perfect. Oh? What did I do? Thank you so much. No, I should be thanking you. I saw how well you took care of my home. It's so clean. You would never know it lay empty for so long. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure, I would have done the same. <sighs> I wonder what they're going to eat though. I really love Korean food. What should I ask her about? How is business going? Are you still playing music? Do you still visit the children at the orphanage? Let's talk about something fun and go with music. We still play the jungle. I think the jungle is the instrument that we see right here. But I have to check to be sure. Yeah, it's a double-sided Korean percussion instrument played horizontally. They can be played from a sitting position or while dancing in a... Hongbul Troop? Troupe? <laughs> uh, no, Troop, I think. You can find one in Soa's home. So, yeah, it is it is the instrument that you can see right there. I have heard um, uh, at like a National Korean Museum how it's being played, but I didn't know it was called a jungle. Maybe once a week, that's not that often, but if she enjoys it, then at least once a week is nice. Oh, she she plays for the village. That's so cute. Oh, and she also plays with her friend Suni. I. Oh, it's so difficult to pronounce Korean words or names without Hanku. It's a good way to relax after a hard day's work. You must have you must have seen quite a few jungle players during your time in Hanyang, no? I did indeed, the capital's very crowded and they hold all sorts of ceremonies and festivals year-round. I attended several shows and saw some very talented musicians. Lucky, here I am, having never left the village. Would you like to go with me if I ever have the chance to go to Hanyang again? Do you really think I will be allowed to accompany? Sure, let's make a promise. Yaksu! At the first possible chance we get, we'll head there together. Oh, that's so cute. Of course I do. I make regular chips out that way when I can. And I make sure to bring some fruits and vegetables every time I go. I will to visit them too. You know, some of the children asked why I stopped visiting. Did they? Now that you mention it, I guess I did forget to say goodbye. That was rather thoughtless of me. It's alright, I told them all about your plans to set off to the capital and become an officer. Ah. Uh, I'm glad I have you to rely on. That's another thing I owe you for. I think they look up to you like an older brother. I can't imagine how much they all must have grown. You wouldn't believe it, but they're still just as adorable. Is Mrs. Anne still in charge of the place? She is. Good to hear. I'll be sure to pay them a visit the first chance I get. They will be delighted to see you. Hey. Okay, lunch. Lunch is ready. Okay, but, but what are we eating? Are we not going to get to know what we're eating? It's a great idea, count me in. 
And I'll see you at the gym week tonight. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yay. Okay, when I arrived at the Yambang district, I found Mr. Kim standing outside. Ooh, he looks angry. Hello, you guys, didn't you have returned? Good morning, sir. I just got back this afternoon. That is good to hear. I've seen word that you passed the examination. Congratulations, my boy. I suppose your training is complete then. Yes, sir, it is. I would like to thank you once more for giving me the chance to go to the capital. It was more than I ever could have dreamt of and the amount of skills I learned far exceeded my expectations. I'm glad to hear that you enjoyed your time there. How long did the return trip take you? Almost 8 days altogether. That is quite a long trip, you must be tired. Maybe a little. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> I was just like you at your age. How is your family? My wife and daughter are both fine, thank you. Okay. Oh, who's this? He looks even... Angrier. <laughs> Mr. Lee! Good morning, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee was a Sato of Yandong, responsible for overseeing the affairs of the village. Okay, so that's probably why... Uh, I think that's because he has this hat. It seems as though your journey back was an uneventful one, yes? That's right, sir, no problems at all. You must be tired. Nothing I can handle, sir. I was told that I was assigned here, but give no further instructions. I am ready to carry out any orders that you may have for me. I would have you rest today and tomorrow, Yuri. We can discuss your assignment after that. Visit your friends, inform everyone of your arrival and get your affairs in order. I have important matters to attend to, I must be off. I don't know, this person sounds just really nice. I don't know if if people were nice like this. Like, if you compare this to K-drama, I don't think he would he would have gotten like one and a half days to rest. But again, I don't know. But I am loving these Hanok houses with like the cherry blossom behind it. I will see you soon, Yuri. Welcome home. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye bye. Oh, we're still talking to Mr. Lee. Yuri, you have been granted an extraordinary privilege. You are aware of that, are you not? It is not normal to hear of a person like you going to the capital to take the military examination. However, it was Mrs. Kim, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Kim's decision, so I could not object. I can only hope that you will rise to the position that has been granted to you and realize just how fortunate you are. Um, I understand, sir. You can count on me. Until someone steps up with a job for you, you will be under my employ. After your two days leave expires, of course. Thank you, sir. I am yours to command. It, sound, it sounds as though you follow orders well. That is good. I expect no problems to arise if that continues. Well, it depends on the order, sir. <laughs> now, please tell me what you learned during your time in Hanyang. I was in charge of a few criminal investigations and I was told to, that I have a knack for it. Besides that, they said that I was skilled at cross-examining witnesses. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Such skills will be of no use here. What a waste. So much time spent in the capital and nothing to show for it. Not true, sir. I am capable of a number of other tasks, like standing watch and keeping the peace. That's a start. You may be of some use to fading the Yanban district. Regardless, we will discuss such things the day after tomorrow. I have one question, sir. Have any sort of conflicts been known to break out in the village? Not really. Our village is a peaceful one. We may see the occasional quarrel between neighbors, but it's rarely necessary for soldiers to intervene in such squabbles. <laughs> I love these English words they're using. I believe you are close with Yunbok, are you not? You should direct such question about day-to-day -day affairs his way. Will do, sir. 
Well, that will be all for now. Go home and rest while you can. Will do, sir. Have a good day, sir. Yee. Let's go to Young Park now. Oh, I love his house as well. Ooh. It's great to see you, pal. When did you get back? Good to see you too, young buck. I got back earlier this afternoon. So did you manage to pass the guago? I did. Whoa, really? Congratulations, that's terrific news. Are you here on leave or are you back for good? I'm back for good, unless I get orders to go somewhere else. Oh, I see. Still, it's nice to have you back. Glad to be back. Which means we'll be working together from now on, I suppose. Our little Yuri has become an adult. I've got you to thank for that. You've always been such a great role model to me. Nonsense. This is young Dong. This place is much too small for me to be anyone's role model. Your job here is probably going to be very different from whatever you did in Hanyang. Anyway, who was your instructor and what did he teach you? Well, he was an instructor from the Royal Guard. What? The Royal Guard? That's right. I got quite a bit of special treatment. I have been very fortunate. You have Mr. Kim to thank for that, am I right? Yeah, that's right. That explains it. Only the young ones rub shoulders with the royal guard. Mr. Kim must have put a good word for you or even fibbed a little and said you were part of his family. He must really like you. Oh, that's cute. Who knows, in time maybe he'll even offer you his daughter's hand in marriage. His daughter? Come on, be serious, you haven't changed a bit. Hello Yuri, I'm proud of you. You may know more than I do at this point. The master may become the pupil's son soon enough. Ha, huh, I wouldn't go as far as to say that. I I like his friend. He's so fun and kind and funny. But he's always also serious with his work, so. Oh yeah, I can imagine that made him popular. <laughs> Anything of note happened while I was away? If you're asking if anyone has committed any major crimes, then no. Not surprising. Not much has changed. Our town is a small one, boasting a few hundred residents at most. I mean, like, I don't really know why he's saying that. Like, Yuri, even though he was gone for three years, he knows this village, so... Or is it because I don't know the village? Maybe that is it. <laughs> Uh, okay. So, still quarrels, but no crimes. Any notable deaths? Nope, no deaths. No deaths in three years' time? Wow. Nothing really serious has happened since you left. What about you? Have you found a special someone and gotten married yet? Sadly, I have not. How is that even possible? Everyone likes you. That's life. Let's just say I haven't been very fortunate when it comes to the ladies. You'll find someone. I love this brother-esque relationship. Like, they're not really brothers, but... Uh, anyway, tell me about the average day's work. Okay, let me fill you in. There are quite a number of things that I'm normally responsible for. Mr. Lee, the village sato, is the one who assigns us for... Uh, our task, sorry. But you may not be doing the same things that I do. I can't think of any reason why I might be treated any differently. One of the tasks I carry out the most is watching over the market, directing the flow of traffic to and fro, probably from, and making sure that there are no accidents. Though it's a little outside my usual line of duties, I sometimes collect taxes from craftsmen and traders. When I'm not doing that, I usually just... I'm usually just making my rounds in the village, making sure that nothing has been damaged. Considering how old some of the villains are around town, it's not unusual to see. Above all else, it is my duty to protect the young bunks of the village, to ensure their safety, I routinely patrol the area where they all live. That's pretty much it for my duties, it all sounds simple enough, but one must always be vigilant. I see anything else that might come up. I was once sent to Dongne to stand in for Mr. Kim at an official ceremony. What's in Dongne? Dongne was a large town located in southeast Joseon. That city has now become 
Busan. Dongne and Busan. Okay. All of the Yanban guards were present, making the whole affair fe feel quite regal. I've also stepped in to settle a quarrel or two and may have had to calm down a few of the village drinks. All in all, though, it's quite peaceful here. It was a bit frustrating at first because I was so hungry for action, but in retrospect, life has been peaceful. That's how it should be. Thanks for the detailed explanation. Are you going to tell me more about what you've been doing in Hanyu for the past three years? Of course, how about over dinner at the Jumak tonight? It will be my treat. Sua will be there too, so I can tell the both of you everything that happened during my time in Hanyang. Ah, oh, excellent idea. You can tell us over a nice meal and a few drinks. That may just be what we need to celebrate your return. I'm glad you agree. Well then, time to get back to work. I'll see you tonight. Indeed, see you tonight. Bye! The Jumak. Master Yui, conqueror of the legendary Guago exam, summoned us for dinner. You think we would let you beat us here? <laughs> Thank you for coming. Were you able to put your feet up at all? No. But tomorrow I have the day off. So thankfully I have some time for myself. Look at you, it's been a while since I've gotten a day off. If you're here, maybe I'll finally get some vacation time. You can only hope. Oh, by the way, Sua, thank you for bringing over the fresh produce. You really shouldn't have. It's nothing really, I just figured your cupboards would be bare and you probably wouldn't have time to shop for food. Well, let's go in then. Tonight's on me. Order whatever you would like. Wow, look at your money bags, Yuri over here. Look at... Look at money bags, Yuri o Okay, that sounds a bit strange. <laughs> Strike it rich during your big trip. Not at all, far from it actually. I'm just happy to see you both, is all. Happy to see you too. Well, since it's on you and you can afford it, let's have that drink. Hey, miss. When I, what can I get for three of you? One bottle of makgeolli for me, please. Uh, makgeolli is green rice wine, if I'm correct. Yeah, green rice wine. Created by fermenting grains such as rice, wheat, barley or mung beans. I don't really like alcohol, so I have tasted it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> Uh, I'll just have some sujunggua. Ah, that's my kind of jam. The sujunggua is like a sweet cinnamon drink. Like, there's something else with cinnamon. I just... What did I use? Like, cinnamon and... Ah, uh, I forgot. Is it ginger? Yes, cinnamon and ginger. I remember correctly. I, I love sujunggua. Are you sure? Yes, it will do be just fine. Oh, she's like me. She cannot drink alcohol that well either. Okay, well, he's going to drink Makoli. Doesn't surprise me. Anything to eat? How is Samgyetang? Samgyetang. That's chicken stuffed with rice in a soup. It is like a very healthy kind of food and if I remember correctly, Koreans mostly eat it during summer. Yeah, chicken soup made with ginseng. An entire chicken is stuffed with rice and herbs, boiled and served in a clay bowl and then you have soup around it. Uh, I remember this very vividly because I had no idea how to eat that chicken with chopsticks and a spoon. <laughs> <sighs> that sounds great. I haven't had some getang in quite some time. I'll have a bowl as well. Three bowls of some getang, please. Coming right up. I was also shocked because like the chickens for some getang are quite small, whereas chickens in my country are really big. It wouldn't fit like in a bowl, in a clay bowl. You would actually like really need a big plate. So, I was surprised to see that in Korea. Well then, Yuri, how about we hear what happened when you arrived at the capital? Well, he gave me a letter of recommendation. 
that I was to present at the royal palace. But the palace was so big, I knew I would never be able to find my way alone, so I asked some of the guards patrolling the grounds for directions. Then when I showed up at the entrance to the palace, someone rushed straight over. He didn't seem at all surprised to see me, and I later found out it was quite common for the young ones to send their young employees in for training. The person asked me about my current physical condition and said that I would have to take an evaluation test the following day. After that, I was taken to the place where I was to live for the next three years. That's when I began my training. Most of the time I was working with bow and arrow on the ground went from horseback. My instructors were always stressing how important it was to be good on a horse, so I practiced riding every day. Ah, all of the practice must have taken its toll. It did, plus the guago exam only takes place every three years. And it is further divided into three stages that you must pass through. Need a good condition and luck. Few of the examinees fell from their horses and were immediately disqualified. And then I have to wait three more years. That's why. Ah, oh, it is the king who decides the final test. Really? Then you were in the presence of the king? I was. Whoa, I didn't even know that. <laughs> After passing all three tests, I was sent to the Podochong for further training. Podochong. Podochong, literally, Agency for Arresting Thieves, was a government body tasked with arresting and punishing criminals during the Joseon era. Okay. Didn't know that. I really like how they have these words where you can learn more about what the word means. Um, it, it's nice. That was where I learned the basics of how to conduct a proper investigation. In Hanyang, there are the occasional murders and robberies. When those sorts of crimes are committed, we must track down the criminals at once. In order to do so, we must investigate the scene of the crime and cross-examine any uh, possible suspects or witnesses. That was the best part for me, piecing together the clues one at a time to uncover the truth. It was quite interesting. Did you catch any criminals? I did help the investigator solve a few cases toward the end of my stay. But I'm still just a novice and I've got a lot to learn. However, I don't see myself being able to hone those skills if I end up staying here. <laughs> you could have tracked down a few stray cuts now and again. Very funny. Besides investigator skills, I also learned how to patrol in said area and act as a bodyguard. Everyone brought the dishes and drinks we ordered to our table. Ooh, look, that is, that this is some Gyetang, then this is the Makoli, and then the red one here, that is Sujungwa. So, Gombe, cheers. Gombe. The capital seems like a nice place. Except it's really crowded. I'm sure you would enjoy it if you ever got a chance to go. Maybe they could all go, the three of them. He already has his promise with Sua. There are all sorts of foods and other goods that we simply don't have here. It's true. We ate, drank and talked on for several hours. That's nice. We have to go home, have an early start tomorrow. I'm so glad they had a good time together and just meet up all again. Good night. Jalja. Do you think you enjoy living here again? Life here is different from life in Hanyang. Only time will tell. For the moment, I'm just glad to be back. If you were to find it difficult to adapt, could you return to the capital? As you know, I don't think I'm in any position to be choosing where I'm assigned. True. If you were told to go back to Hanyang, you would tell me, right? Of course. Well, here we are, Sua. Head on in. Thank you, Yuri. Have a good night. Will I see you tomorrow? Sure, I'll be around. Sweet dreams. I went straight home. 
I was asleep before my head hit the pillow. Damn, that's fast. Anyone home? Someone is at my door. Hello, anyone there? I was still half asleep, but I could hear that the voice was getting noticeably louder. It's so early. Who could be calling at this hour? Officer Yuri. It must be Syria. Officer Yuri, I'm so sorry to disturb you. Oh, it's a new person. It's a guard. He must come at once. What's going on? The Sato sent for you. He says it's urgent. Okay, but why is he... Sir, there has been an incident in the village. I understand. Where am I to report? The town hall? Yes, and please hurry. It w I won't be more than a minute. Just let me just get my things. I put on my gut and readied my horse. A gut is the head? Yeah, traditional Korean hat. They are woven out of horse hair. Oh, I didn't know that. The black gut symbolized that the men have passed the civil service examinations. I see. Okay. I jumped up onto the saddle and we set off at a galop for the Yanban district. I wonder what happened. Oh, this music is a bit ominous. When I went to the town hall, Mr. Kim and Mr. Lee were waiting for me. They looked concerned. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you called for me? We did, Yuri. Please have a seat. You saw Yunbok yesterday, did you not? Yes, I did, sir. Tell me, what sort of state was he in when you saw him? Did something happen to Yunbok? The guard said there has been an accident, an incident. For now, please focus on answering my questions. I shall be explained in time. Understood. I saw him twice yesterday. The first time we met, it was early in the afternoon, just after I arrived. We had a short chat at his place. At night, we met once more at a Juma. The one close to the southern gate, a short distance from my home. We had dinner together. Sua was with us too. When did you part ways? It was pretty late in the evening when we said our goodbyes. You went straight home? Yes, sir. I walked Sua home and then went straight home myself. I remember Yumbok saying that he needed to get up early in the morning and that he didn't want to go to bed too late. He made it sound like he was going straight back to his place. Mr. Kim, did you instruct Yunbok to report for duty early this morning? I did not. Ooh, and the plot thickens. Let's see. Yuri, was Yunbok acting strange at all? No, sir, I don't believe so. Forgive me if I'm stepping out of line, but would you please tell me what has happened to Yunbok? You should tell him. Yuri, there has been a murder. One of the women. One of the women of the village. She was found dead in her home this morning. What? Uh, for a moment I thought Yulmbok was going to be dead. It seems as though your return has brought with it a share of bad luck. I'm truly sorry, sir. Well then, Yuri, I heard from Mr. Lee that you learned how to carry out an investigation, is that correct? Yes, sir, it is. And you are to look into this affair and give us a report of your findings. Sirs, are you implying that Yulmbok is a suspect? Let us not jump to conclusions without seeing the evidence first. Well, but like that is strange. Like if a woman is murdered, then why are they already suspecting Yunbok? Is my question. But that being said, he claimed that he had duties to carry out early this morning, though that is clearly not the case. In addition to that, unsettling fact, he has disappeared from the village without a word of warning. Oh, so maybe that's why I was jumping to conclusions Way too soon. <laughs> you must see how suspicious this looks. It is your duty to uncover the truth behind this matter. We are aware of how close the two of you are, but you must remain impartial. Can we trust you to carry out this investigation in an unbiased manner? Yes, sir. You have my word. Yuri, this rumor will spread like wildfire through the village and the people may start to panic. I've lived my entire life in Yangdong, but I've never experienced anything like this. I trust that you will do your very best to catch the person responsible for this heinous act. Could you start by giving me some information about the victim? Her name was Miss Han. She lived alone, somewhere to the north. And we believe she was murdered. There is not a doubt. Go and see the crime scene for yourself. Yes sir, I shall head there at once. Yuri, are you certain you are up for this task? 
Yes, sir, I have taken part in this exact sort of investigation. I will give it my all. Then you may go. Report back the instant you have any new information for us. All right. Sir, you must be Yuri. I am. I have orders to let you in. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Do we have any witnesses? Yes, the woman next door. She discovered the body this morning. Did she explain how she happened upon the corpse? Apparently they are crow workers, so they walk to work together most mornings. Is she home now? Yes, she lives right over there. She is in shock, but you should be able to get a few answers out of her. How have you come about this information? I live nearby, so I heard the screams. That's when I rushed in and saw the body. After that, I went straight to the settle to tell him what I found. He came to see for himself and then told me to stand guard until you arrived. Does the victim have any next of kin? No, sir, not in this village. According to her neighbor, she lived alone. Very well, I will go in and examine the body. I am going to need you to stand guard a while longer. After that, I will question the witness. Understood. Ooh, graphic. Lots of blood. It's really a lot of blood. Okay, but let's investigate. None of the limbs or other body parts seem to be missing. So it's just like stab wounds. Okay, it is only her midsection that has been torn to shreds. Torn to shreds? So it's not just stabbing then. Okay, she was attacked from the front. But I must confess, I can't actually claim to know much more than that. Oh, that is the end! Oh, okay, so we found the body, we are investigating, and after that we'll have to wait until the whole game is out. So far, I don't know if this demo part is already showing everything that they will do in the game, or if there's still new things that they will add or things that they will change. It really depends on how far the game is in development. Um, right now it just really feels very novel-y in the sense that it is a lot of reading and not a lot of doing. And um, I prefer t to do more things than to only read. Um, I do play some visual novels, but I always prefer the ones that give me some more options for things that I can say, things that my character does, the things that, um, like just some decision making, you know, like there is some decision making in this game, but not a lot. And I really do hope that they will add more because so far it just, like I said, it just feels really like a book. But other than that, I'm really excited for this game. Like, I love how they introduce Korean culture, Korean words, and also tell you more about the Korean word, like what Sujunggwa is or Makoli. Like, I really, really enjoy that. I just love the idea that people who are not Korean can learn things about Korea. I That just makes me happy and it's something that I want to do with my channel. And I will look forward to its full release. And if you guys like this video, then let me know in the comments down below if I should play the whole game on this channel. Uh, or if you're just like, nah, Juju, this is not the kind of content that I want to see from you on this channel, then let me know as well. It's completely fine. I'm just, I just thought it would be nice to share this game on my channel with you all. But I still hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.